Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 14th, 2024. Well, we had a nice little rally yesterday. It started off kind of slow, but then they squeezed it on higher with that PPI number leaving a little bit of confusion in it. When the headline number, of course, declined, but then there was quite the... Um, quite the change in going higher when you excluded trade services um, in the number, which um, it really is pointing directly to um, corporate margins, corporate profits. That's a interesting number. So we had a little bit of hesitation and then we decided it was time to just surge on up and close some gaps. So what happened overnight? Well, let's take a quick look. Asian markets last night, well, they were a little bit mixed. We had um, Australian, um, Japanese, and uh, South Korean markets just um, slightly higher, uh, around 0.31%, 0.58%, and 0.88%, respectively. And then um, we saw Hong Kong a little bit lower and Shanghai lower. 0.35% and 0.60% as the Prime Minister of Japan um, decided to resign position and will not be seeking re-election. A little bit of a shakeup over there. Um, if we take a look at European markets this morning, they are bullish across the board. We've got the DAX up 0.45%. FTSE is up 0.37% and the CAC is up 0.42%. Um, although UK inflation um, came in a little bit less than expected, it still was above their 2% uh, target and maybe adding a little bit of worry on that as well. If we take a look at U.S. markets this morning, we're pretty flat. We've been bouncing around the flat line here. We go a little bit green, a little bit red, a little bit green, a little bit red, as we're really just waiting on that uh, consumer price information, uh, um, consumer price index report here this morning before the bell. So a little bit of hesitation here in the market this morning. If we take a look at um, oil prices, um, oil prices pulled back yesterday, found a little bit of a resistance there, pulled back and we've got oil futures down this morning as well, um, down 36 cents at 77.99 a barrel and Brent being down 28 cents at 80 41 a barrel so we'll have to be keeping a close eye on this remember one of the um, concerns um, that we have here is first um, the consumer demand um, possibly falling in the united states because of the weakening consumer and then also the um, issue of the middle east and sending more troops and another carrier group over there to um, the Gulf um, as tensions between um, countries there in the Middle East grow. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Both of those pressures, one would, would say it would push oil prices down, the other could push them sharply higher. So watch closely there. We also have natural gas um, just a little bit higher this morning, but not so much as to make any difference, just a little bit of a rest and consolidation going in there in, in the UNG ETF. If we take a look at um, our precious metals here this morning, well, we've got palladium continuing to show strength. This has been really, really volatile, but watch this closely, y'all. If th as this pushes up and breaks resistance, if this rests and holds, puts in some kind of a consolidation and finally holds a higher low. There may be some opportunity there in palladium. Keep an eye on that. Platinum is higher this morning. We've got copper moving up, but if you take a look at the stocks in here, boy, 
um, copper stocks just not really doing all of that much um, as you can see maybe squeaking out from underneath that downtrend here today in FCX um, things like SCCO just coming up into those downtrends so not a whole lot going on here in these stocks at least at this point even though we've got copper coming up just an ever so slight amount silver this morning moving just a little bit higher um, it gapped down yesterday but pushed right back up and it is continuing to try and march a little bit higher and the march on gold continues gold continuing to move on up as a matter of fact if we um, open up here we'll be opening at a new record high in gold um, again concerns of recession concerns about rate cut which is making the dollar uh, fall pretty dramatically here from a lower high so yeah keep an eye on those precious metals could have some interesting moves yet left in them and if we look at cryptos this morning uh, Bitcoin had a good day yesterday and they're having a good morning so far up $396 a coin and I'm guessing it has a lot to do with um, this coming down so if we look at um, the BITO, it's all, it's almost a direct relationship with the dollar falling and the strengthening of Bitcoin. And you can see um, um, that reflected in those two ETFs. If we take a look, um, um, kind of a mix across the board, but mostly higher in those cryptos this morning. Let's take a look at our bond prices here this morning. Bonds continue to be pretty darn interesting. Um, as you guys know, I've been touting TLT to keep an eye on that and watch for that. It's been pretty volatile, but you can see coming up here in TLT, if we could hold that higher low instead of whipsaw in here, I'd be more inclined to add some more in here on those bonds. If the dollar continues to do what we're seeing right now, I would expect that to continue moving on up and maybe break some of these resistance levels. And my goodness, do we have some upside potential if they really start cutting those rates, um, uh, cutting rates and um, reducing these bond yields and maybe getting rid of this, um, you know, Probably. I still think, um, looking at all of the data, this is the longest bonded version in history. Two-year bonds right now at 3.92, continuing to soften back from 4% yesterday. Ten-year uh, bonds at 3.83%, and the 30-year bonds at 4.14% this morning. So keep a close eye on those. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. You know, if we take a look at these charts, we want to take a look at those charts to try and figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. But we want to shake off our bias in here and look at the charts for what they are not for what we want them to be. Well, first off, what we can see is a nice strong move back to the upside here in um, the diamonds. But about all we can say about this at the moment is this is a relief rally only. As we're pushing up in here, notice we haven't had any rest or any real pullback to test and prove a support level. This is just a relief rally zooming back up here to test some of these areas of resistance in the chart. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration today and with that CPI number, there is certainly reason to believe that that possibility exists. So if we can push on through this resistance right here in the chart, then we'll start looking on higher. Can we get through that area of the chart and then pushing on up into this area of the chart notice we've got a gap up there that could be filled and we'll be back up here testing this trend break in the chart so we've got a little bit of a double whammy of price resistance kind of right in there now that would be a huge move on the day certainly a possibility with a good cpi number that inspires the market but you will want to be keeping in mind as we push back up here we are still not out of the woods in this market and the reason is because we still have this overall downtrend we've had that lower high in here so as we press back up 
we really could run into a situation where the we connect these two lines up here with a big resistance area and still have that potential for failure in the market. What I would prefer is if we would consolidate or rest a little bit, building some support base to work from rather than just these big point whipsaws that we're seeing in the market right now. But that being said, we're back above our 50 day moving average. So the market is seeing that as a bullish move. And um, there's a lot of confidence um, in these rate cuts. I will say, just be really careful with what you wish for, because what we're seeing is a major weakening in the economy and, and the consumer. And um, oftentimes when they start cutting rates, that's when the market really starts going down. So watch that carefully. If we look at um, the bearish side of this chart, if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, we can kind of see pretty clearly where it could go pushing back down right into here, catching a little bit of uh, price action support beyond that point, probably coming down into this level and then pushing on down toward this trend area here in the chart and the next level of support. So keep an eye on that. We take a look at our SPY, SPY, also making that nice little run back up here. We're going to be coming right into this downtrend. Now this could be really important depending on how we react to that CPI number. If we get a CPI number that inspires the bulls, we could break this downtrend here pushing us right up through this big resistance area in the chart and maybe even start stretching on through to these levels above to see if we can re-challenge this last recent high in the chart. Now that doesn't take us out of the woods here because once again, we have not put in any, any consolidation, any kind of support in here. We're just running straight back up in this market, which really puts us at risk of that big point whipsaw if we were to, um, run into some resistance or a problem that's significant. And there may be something on the horizon that could do that. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, um, if we take a look, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, this would be a likely place. If the bears were to react negatively in here, you, you'd look back at this chart in history and go, well, that made sense. Um, so if those bears find inspiration here today and a push back in the chart, well, pushing back down to maybe test the low of that candle, then possibly filling the gap down in here to test this next support level, looks like a likely place that we could go. Keep that in mind. You also want to remember we're up here testing our 50 day moving average and we've got our short term moving averages crossed through. So we've got a little bit of a technical resistance here as well. So once again, if you look back on history on this, if this fails here, everybody would go, well, that's not much of a surprise. If we take a look at our QQQ, very much the same here in the QQQ, except we did pop that downtrend yesterday. So if we can continue to get that bullish inspiration here to push this up, you will want to notice once again, just a straight up run. We're not resting. We're just all anticipation and hope um, in this move. But if we can continue that push to the upside, well, we'll start looking at levels like this and then right up into this level here. Pushing on up into there, we may run into a bit more challenge uh, pushing through. And one of the reasons that would be is we'll be testing our 50 day moving average as a price resistance level there in the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, not too hard to see that either. Pushing back down here to test the low of that can a little bit of price support, then we might fall into this gap just a little bit and maybe right back down into some of these price levels here in the chart. Breaking down below there would probably raise some concern here in the market, add a little bit of fear in here. And again, you know, if we were to fail right here um, underneath that 50 day moving average and move back lower, I don't think anybody would be really surprised by that if they looked at that at history. So remember, we have to keep that in mind. I'm not saying that's going to occur. I'm not trying to tell you that's going to occur. I'm just saying always be aware of those levels in the chart and be prepared for the possibility if that is the case. 
turns out to be the case anyway. If we take a look at our Russell IWM, well, poor IWM, it struggled a whole lot more in here, but we did get a good move yesterday and we're popping up here to test this major resistance area. We're trying to get back through that area that goes all the way back here to 2021 and 2022. Pretty big area of resistance in the chart. So if the bulls can find that inspiration here today, breaking through here will be very, very important. And certainly um, a good CPI number could help us with that. And if we can do that, well, we'll start coming up here, maybe filling some gaps, pushing right back on up here to retest this resistance area in the chart if those bulls can find lots of inspiration. If the bears were to find that inspiration, well, obviously not too hard to see this little consolidating move. In here, we would push back down, maybe test the top side. Slipping through there, we're gonna test that upside trend and possibly even the low side of that consolidation. And beyond that point, there would be some fear coming in the market, pushing us back down in that area of the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. The good news here yesterday is the VIX finally relaxed just a little bit on that big push, but we did that big push on declining breadth, which is interesting. But we did come back down to really give a good solid test of the top of this support area here in the chart. Let me remove all those lines. As you can see, the top of this support area, we're testing that nicely. Um, that upside trend, we did finally break that down here just slightly but you will want to consider in this chart we're still pretty elevated 18 handles on the vix some concern but if those bulls can continue to find inspiration i'd look for a push down to retest this area down in here and if they can push on through there right back down here and then we're going to be getting back into those uh, much lower numbers and um, see better option prices and things like that if that were the case if the bears, however, find um, some kind of reason and we bounce up off of here, um, we could have a little bit of concern coming up in the market, particularly after a CPI report. Not suggesting that's going to happen, but watch that carefully. If we were to bounce up off of there, that could really raise some fear in the market. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. We had a really good move yesterday to the upside. Uh, closing up here, um, about 73% of the stocks um, moving to the upside here. So remember, four week, new high, new low ratio. So stocks making new highs, stocks making new lows, and we certainly came up here nicely um, in that chart. A good bullish move out of the CPI this morning could easily pop us dramatically to the upside, put us right up here in the bearish reversal zone. So keep that in mind. And if the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, we've opened up a big opportunity for a downside move as well. So be prepared for just about anything. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, well, our T2108 also had a nice move up yesterday, 44% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. So we're improving here and you can see breaking through and holding some support levels in here. That is a good sign for the um, for this indicator. If we can get back above that 50%, that would help an awful lot. And we still have this kind of this downside trend in here that we need to maybe break through in that chart. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration in the data today, then pushing up through into these areas would be pretty critical, maybe even breaking through. If the bears were to find inspiration while well, pushing back, we could find some support in here and then of course support down in here. So watch carefully for that possibility as well. T2107 is very much the same. This is the percentage of stocks above, whoops, I better type that right. There we go, T2107, very much the same. We have that a little bit longer term, you know, downtrend in here. We haven't quite been able to break. We might be just a little bit weaker in here on con um, consolidations and resistance levels, but we are back above our 50%, so 51.5%. Um, of the stocks back above their 200 day moving average. Coming into some price resistance, we'll need to break that and a good CPI report could push us 
right up through that area pretty easily and then you can see we could start pressing up into these next levels of resistance if the bears were to find inspiration while well, a push back down you could really see the possibility if we did push back down we could catch some support there or catch some support down into this level of the chart so watch carefully for that here's what i meant um, t2101 as we um pushed up yesterday our breath uh, pulled back but it did give us this little hint of a hook right here and that hook might be just anticipation of that cpi number being a good number that hook could provide us that inspiration to see that bullish move show some breadth increase and we need that to uh, see that momentum here to the upside could also if the bears find inspiration that hook could show us the, the bearish inspiration coming into the market showing that strength so 601 half a dozen the other we're going to have to watch that pretty closely but what we don't want to see is we don't want to see us continuing to stretch to the upside on declining breadth that's going to give those bears or embolden those bears and means that we could whipsaw uh, this market pretty heavily and remember it's not uncommon when we look at an index that we um, do these retests so we have have a bottom we rally up and then we pull back and retest the low we have a bottom we rally up and we pull back and retest so this big stretch to the upside would not be out of the question for some kind of a pullback to retest it doesn't have to come all the way back down but maybe just a higher low in the chart um, that gives us a better pattern to trade from so watch carefully there let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar what we've been talking about um, here this morning we're going to have um, mortgage applications here this morning keep an eye on that um, watch carefully and then we've got that CPI report the CPI report they're suggesting um, if you'll notice here month over month at 2% there was a negative 0.1 here expecting a 2% um, if we've got the year over year looking for that to stay flat at 3% ex food and energy at 2% that's up from 1% and a ex food and energy year over year coming in at 3.2 which would be that decline and that would be the headline number that everyone would key off of if that comes in less than last time so or less than expected so watch that number carefully if we take a look beyond that we've got a petroleum status number coming out here watch carefully there and then a, a short-term bond uh, bill auction going off now as we look into thursday remember we get through this numbers today we have some big numbers coming tomorrow and my wonder is if we could rally really hard on this number today hoping for good news in that cpi and i think that's possible and then we come over here thursday morning and we get an ugly jobs report an ugly retail sales number and then um, the bears could come back so watch that carefully here i'm not trying to predict that's going to happen i'm just su suggesting that there's so many clues out in the market that our economy is slowing that certainly is a possibility and then we you know we've got a philly fed we've got empire state we've got import export prices we got fed speakers we've got industrial production numbers business inventories housing market index natural gas report um, all tomorrow morning it's going to be a busy day on that economic calendar so uh, be prepared for that even if we get a good pop today consider this carefully um, will these numbers be good enough to sustain those prices and then if we take a look at our earnings calendar here today i'm going to go pretty quick on this because i'm running this video a little bit long already and if um, you want the full list of notables please click the link just below the title of the video uh, that'll take you back to the morning blog we're really starting to run down on major notables here in the market um, but you know things like eat uh, reporting this morning looks like that's having a little bit of a bearish move uh, dole reporting this morning um, mrx reporting this morning um, ubs 
having a good day here pushing up so a few of those this morning and then this afternoon our most notable is going to be cisco keep an eye on cisco that will be reporting this afternoon with only a few other like stne um, um, notables to be paying attention to this afternoon so with that how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen the videos please click the subscribe button also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell anything. Um, as a matter of fact, today, be really careful because the volatility, the big whips could be pretty extreme. Um, depending on how we react to the CPI number this morning. But there are some really good charts out there to be paying attention to. Um, and many of them happen to be in kind of the defensive sector area of the market. So um, taking a look in here, if we take a look at uh, Post, Post, beautiful chart. Now I know this is an old boring company, who, who cares about, you know, cereal, but this is a beautiful consolidation rest in here. I keep an eye on post. If we pull this back, notice we're in blue skies here. There's really no resistance above. I keep an eye on that, showing some very interesting signs. You can see uh, GIS had a little bit of a struggle in here, uh, General Mills, but it is trying to make that bullish move happen here as well. If it can particularly pop through this area, I would watch that carefully. And saying pop, well, um, let's take a look at Coke. I know a lot of folks call it soda. Um, here in the Midwest, a lot of people call it pop. Um, and as you can see, um, Coca-Cola showing um, lots of potential bullishness. Nice little resting consolidation in here for that potential move to the upside. So we're seeing a lot of those defensive sector type stocks, uh, consumer staple type stocks doing quite well. So if you take a look at XLP, XLP itself on that consumer staples ETF hanging in there. And if you just run into some of those stocks, you know, there's Kelanova just ripping this morning again, taking off like a rocket shot. Now I know there's a chance of a buyout uh, coming in there, but you got MKC, take a look at that. And that's looking pretty good in here. Things like Tyson holding up and looking pretty good. Mondelez has been pushing to the upside. Things like Target, not so much. Target actually setting up as a potential short. But when we look at things like Hormel, Hershey, Colgate, there's a lot of bullishness in this uh, group of stocks. So keep that in mind. Another area where we're still seeing particular strength is in the utility sector. Utilities holding very strong in here. And I know it's a boring area to trade. I get it. But it's one of those places where folks are going to a little bit of safety, trying to hold on here in those charts. So watch that carefully. And again, once again, you can go into um, uh, you know, this area of the market and you're going to find lots of bullish stocks showing all kinds of um, getting all kinds of energy in that upside move and that safety type play coming in. Um, another area, um, this really doesn't fit the true um, um, safety area, but things like Procter & Gamble have been holding in here. We've been seeing some signs um, in some of the healthcare um, areas showing bullishness. I would look at some of those healthcare areas. Um, other places, take a look at like uh, McDonald's here. Um, I actually placed a price alert here on McDonald's um, for that possibility that this could be the higher low and start moving uh, Mickey D's back to the upside. So keep an eye on uh, that. I'm really liking the way IBM could be setting up. We had a lot of volatility right here uh, just recently and notice how we're tightening that up right in here as we come out to trend. 
watch carefully for that opportunity that that could pop on through to the upside. As you know, I've been mentioning TLT. Um, TLT, I, I would love to see this get a little bit of a consolidating rest in here to hold. And then I think I would probably be looking to add to that trade. Now, I don't mind, I drew it like that, but I don't mind if it rests all the way out until we kind of come closer to this upside trend. So this could rest for quite a while. Um, I'm willing to wait for a good trade, but watch that carefully here in a TLT. And then um, there's plenty of opportunities to potentially short. One of those would be shorting the US dollar right now. Um, failing here at price resistance, couldn't even get that strength up here to get uh, to that trend. If we look at moving averages on this, we're failing our 200 day moving average. Not a good sign for the US dollar, but keep an eye on that. That could be a pretty good short. Um, any of these tech giants that have rallied back to price resistance, set up that next opportunity for a potential short. Keep a close eye on those. And there are quite a few stocks where we show that rally into resistance. Um, we're right there or very near those points where we could fail. So watch carefully for that. Stocks like AMD, this rally back up to this major resistance area and downtrend. I would be watching this for that potential to catch that failure and that possible short coming into play here. So watch the, those carefully. And there's a lot of those out there right now showing those patterns. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here and listening. I truly appreciate it. Remember, anything is possible today. So be prepared for that. Um, be prepared for some um, wild volatility possibilities um, after the, when this CPI number comes out and how we react. So with that, everyone, I wish you all the best. Wish you a profitable day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day.